Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Tommy Ingberg. And as you'll see, my wife helped me to take this photograph of me lying on the floor to get a pose as if I was floating in the air. And I have already taken it and used the polygonal lasso tool to mask ground it and delete the background. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is turn this image portrait. So image transform rotate the right way and just resize it so I can see it all. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool to just grab myself, resize, spin myself the way that I want to be. Okay. And obviously I can change that some more later, but that's roughly where I want it for now. And I've also opened up this picture that I took a few years back and I'm going to select that with the rectangular um, masking tool. Control C to copy it. Go back to this picture. Control V to paste it. There it is. And I think I'll leave the figure where it is for now uh, because I want to start working on the background layer. So I'm going to get the magic wand tool and I'm just going to delete above my mountains there and get rid of that area. I could always polygonal lasso around the mountains if I wanted, but that was a bit quicker because I had a clearer space in the clouds. I'm then going to mask off the rest of the sky and the rest of the clouds and delete those. And then a last little bit there, which I'll get as well. Okay. So I have my ground, if you will, my land. And I have also grabbed this picture of um, clouds from Google. So I'm going to control C and then control V that in. It's quite small, but don't worry. It's uh, going to work. Okay. And I stretching that out a little bit. Um, doesn't matter too much that I'm stretching it as it's clouds. It still works. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to grab the white and I'm going to grab the uh, gradient tool, which is with the paint bucket there. There we go. And I'm going to get white and transparent so that I can drag the tool, the gradient tool up from the bottom and slowly bring white up onto the clouds so I get a, a nice gentle blend from white into clouds rather than having a hard edge. And then once I'm happy with that, I can go staying on that layer to the little drop box down there and just play through those until I get the one that allows the two layers, the cloud layer and the land layer, to be in the same image. Okay. And then I'm going to just move that a little bit down because now I can see the two. It's a little bit higher than I want. So I'll just bring it down a bit. Oh no, it's a little bit too low down. That's good. Okay. So now everything in the background's in position. I can begin to uh, change colors. So I'm going to go image, adjustments, black and white. Click OK, and that's that. And then go to the land, image, adjustments, black and white. OK, so now they've both been turned black and white. I can see that I want to go back to the clouds and just go image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to bring the contrast down on the clouds. And maybe adjust the brightness a little bit. No, that should be fine. Click OK. And that helps the land and the clouds to look like they're more together. OK. Now I'm going to grab my floating me. Make sure I make the layer visible. There we go. And first thing I can do with that layer 
is make that black and white as well. Okay, image adjustments, black and white, okay. And now I'm black and white. And another thing I got from the internet was a bubble. Um, I typed in bubble PNG, so I got a transparent file. Hence the reason you can see all those squares. I'm using the rectangular mask tool to mask it off, then control C to copy it and control V to paste it in. And there it is. Okay. Just going to have a shimmy about, make sure it's where I want it to be. Shimmy myself in it as well. Been quite lucky that I got myself pretty much exactly where I wanted. Okay. So I'm not done with the bubble yet. I'm going to grab the magic wand tool and I'm going to select everywhere that isn't the bubble. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to select inverse that selection. So now I have the bubble selected and I'm going to fill it with white. Okay. So I have a new layer, which is all filled with white. Okay. I'm going to double click on that layer. I'm going to go to inner glow and this is pretty much how I want it. Normal. Opacity about 75% and then you can play around with the distance and the size to get just the right amount of dark in a glow that you want. Click OK and then we're going to go stay on that layer to the drop down menu above. And we're going to cycle through them again until we get to, there we go, the one that combines the images together. OK, or shows the other images through. Okay, and then you've got a dark edge and a nice white bubble. Okay, right, next thing we're going to do, still on the same layer, is just bring that um, opacity down a bit so it's not quite as dark. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with the white as well. I want to be able to see myself. So down with the white a bit as well. Make that bubble a little bit more transparent. Okay. And then on that top layer, I'm going to double click and I'm also going to apply a bit of an outer glow. Okay. Just uh, mess around with this. It's a bit laggy today. So I'm having trouble moving these sliders a bit, but it's just a case of playing with those until you get the desired amount of glow around your bubble. You really don't need very much, just quite gentle. Okay. Then once you're happy, click okay. And the last thing I want to do to the bubble is just get rid of the hard edge on it. So on the bubble layer, I'm just going to go filter blur Gaussian blur, and it's already set to almost perfect about seven pixels. Click OK, and that just makes the edge a bit less hard, a um, bit more blurred. OK. Right, I think I'm going to just have a go at the brightness and contrast image adjustments, brightness and contrast on my figure, just to make it a bit less contrast, just so it fits a bit better. OK, then I click off of that and I've got one last thing I need to do. So I'm going to join my land with my clouds. So I click on the cloud layer, merge down. So it joins those two together. I'm then going to go to the um, layer which has the glow on it. And I'm going to select around the bubble and then go to select inverse so that it selects the bubble itself. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the background layer and I'm going to go filter and then down to distort and down to spherize. And you'll see that distorts what's inside my circle, inside my bubble to make it look like it is in a bubble which I think is really helpful. And obviously you can slide the slider, choose how much you want and then click OK. And that is showing the effect of the bubble 
like it would do in reality. Okay? And one last thing, flatten the image because I want to just go to image adjustments, color balance. And I just want to pump up a little bit of red into it. Because if you look at Tommy Ingberg's work, it's not exactly black and white. It's got this kind of hint of sepia in it. So I'm just putting that in. And that is my finished piece of work. And that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.